I think one of the main things I wanted to achieve through my work was to create this contrast between finding this sort of beauty in what we consider grotesque. We attach ideas of ugliness with death, so I thought it would be interesting to have this sort of weird beauty in it. I'm Bill. My artwork is the Everyman's Chrysalis, and I'm 18. Well, my artwork is a watercolour series of paintings, so it's, it's three paintings, and it follows a, a man as he, you know, transitions from an old identity to a new one, pretty much by dying. When I started, I didn't really know what I wanted to cover, really, but when I had, you know, my, my nan pass away, it was sort of, it brought questions of like um, death and, you know, what it means, I guess, uh, to me in terms of my like identity and how it sort of changes people to like the forefront of it. So I guess it became more broadly about a reflection on like life and death and death not so much as like an end or, you know, this ugly thing, but rather something that can be bring new life or transform us in some way. The first one is pretty much like the disillusion of his identity. You know, it's pretty much falling apart, but already from like the holes in his self, there's new life forming in the form of, of moths and also birds to sort of suggest the new beginnings, I suppose. The second one is the definitive stage. He's sort of decaying, I suppose. But from his physical body, there's also, you know, these forget-me-not flowers and, you know, these sort of gold stems and and more moths as well. I guess it's supposed he's supposed to be reminiscent of like a cocoon or one that's partly opened. And from the body of his former self, he can emerge as a fully formed identity or as like a, a moth. And that's the third image where he's upright hanging from a clock. Of course he still has a bit to go, I think, like his, his wings need to dry and he's not quite able to fly yet, but with time, I guess. I tend to use, actually use old actors for my, um, my, my characters or people I use in my artworks, just because there's so many photos of them that you can get most angles. I based this character off um, Harold Lloyd. It was like a sort of everyman character in silent film. So I thought it would be interesting to use that trope to talk about death and grief in sort of like a everyone's experience. For me at least, looking back at it, it's, it's not really hard to look at, but it's quite visceral for me because it's sort of looking back to um, where I was and in terms like, you know, reconnecting with that, with those feelings of, of grief and my focus on death at the time. Mm -hmm.